2017 Jeep Latitude. 63,803 miles on the odometer. It's got a check engine warning indicator and looks like an auto stop start warning indicator. Customer stage engine runs rough and it shakes uh, at idle and has lack of power. Customer also stated that they had a number four fuel injector replaced not long ago for a very similar condition. So, uh, not, not Ford, what am I doing? So let's go see what's going on with uh, this ECU. Maybe somebody messed up, maybe they didn't, maybe something else is going on, maybe it's not. Uh, why am I still in Ford? Oh, Monday. 17, automatic ID, less work for me. Let's see, engine codes, what do we got? Coach menu, display. All right, we're looking at a P0202 fuel injector number two circuit open and P0302 cylinder number two misfire. And I definitely feel a misfire right now. We can even hear a misfire back here at the exhaust. Putt, putt, putt. Okay, since uh, indicators are pointing us towards the injector number two, let's go ahead and power this down. Pop an Z hood and uh, let's just go see if we cannot get a visual on this fuel injector number two for inspection. It's a Jeep thing. Well, we're not going to see anything with this engine cover here, so this will be our first victim of the day. Goodbye, cover. Okay, most of the uh, fuel system is underneath of this intake manifold right here, but I think I can get to number two right here. Now, what's good about what we see so far is uh, I don't see any uh, rat or mouse or rodent damage to the wires. They like to chew these injector wires off, like right here, flush with the connector. Let me see if I can't get that guy unplugged real quick. Oh, no, I don't have the articulation of the flanges to, uh, to get that out. The little button it releases on that side of it. So we use a tool to help us. Come on. I'm using the tool to push the little button. I'm trying to pull the assembly up. Bear with me here, folks. Bear with me. This is borderline rocket surgery. Got it. There she is. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to test to make sure that the ECM is commanding this injector to open and close. So I'm gonna use what's called a Noid light. It's basically just a little test light that will plug into this. And then if I see that light flashing, that tells me I'm getting pulse from the ECM that's commanding the injector to fire. If it is pulsing here and the injector is not firing, this confirms that the injector is faulty and uh, will have to be replaced. Plug it in, plug it in. See it? Yeah, it lights in the way. Stand by. Now we can see it. See how it's flashing? That's the ECM commanding the solenoid in the injector to operate, but the injector is not responding. And the ECM is seeing no voltage drop on the circuit, so it is hypothesizing that that circuit is open and setting that open code. Consequently, the engine has a misfire because the injector is not fueling that particular cylinder. So we have uh, the secondary code, which is the uh, cylinder number two misfire. So what's gonna have to happen here is this intake is gonna need to be removed and then I'm gonna have to remove that injector. Now, seeing as how they just replaced number four, according to the customer, I'm gonna recommend that we replace the other five. There's the one that we know is good, the one that I have to replace right now, but then that leaves us with four more injectors that are still in question. And I don't think this fella should continue to pay labor to remove that intake in order to constantly replace fuel injectors as they fail one at a time. So I'm gonna recommend replacing the whole set just based on the circumstances in this particular case. So I'm gonna go document what I found, let them know what I found, let the customer know what I found, and then uh, wait for our customer to make an informed and educated decision. Do, 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 do. And once all that stuff happens, I'll check back in with you guys. Stand by one nanosecond, I'll be right back.
Alrighty, so an unspecified and unrealized amount of time has passed and our customer has decided to replace one that is just one singular faulty injector as opposed to the remaining five. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this thing down right about now. Uh, intake tube's coming off first and then we will find our next obstruction which is probably gonna be some uh, hoses and wires that are connected. Once these guys are gone, we'll get the bolts out, pop this intake off and then we can get some access to that injector down there. Come on, little intake tube. You're coming with me. Let's see, we can lose this uh, PCB hose next. Become unclipped. Evap purge solenoid connector. That's gone. I'm silly, that's not a PCB hose, that's the purge solenoid hose. I literally called it one thing and then immediately called it something else. Silly Ray. All right, wiring harness, you go over there. Hoses go over there. Let's go ahead and start uh, pulling the bolts out for this intake. Oh, wait, I'm ahead of myself. I've gotta get this little plastic guy off first. Well, that was easy, it wasn't even tight. Oh look, and it's broken. Hmm. Thank you, last guy that was here. All right, oh, what do we got? I need an eight millimeter on a quarter inch drive electric ratchet. We'll start pulling these bolts off. All right, manifold bolts, coming with me. Oh, these are longer than I thought. See, I thought I was gonna get away with that walkie three, it's impact. That was wrong. Are we loose? Loosey goosey. Oh yeah. See, I've got a couple clips for this little hose right here. Get rid of that, and it is free. Okay, so behind these wires, we're looking at our fuel rail right here, bolted on in two places, flexible hose here that connects it to the other fuel rail on the other side, and we just need to pull this up some, pop those injectors out, replace this one, put that thing back together. Oh, you know what? Before you guys go crazy on me for this, I better just stuff those holes right now. All the way in. There. There, now we're good. Now we're good. Reverse click. And up. Come on out. All right, disconnected. The injectors on this side are out of the manifold. Now I just need to get this guy out. It's gonna spray some fuel. Still under some pressure, and no, there's not a relief valve. Hey, look, that was wrong, I'm a liar. It did not spray fuel. Anyway, there's our affected injector. See, when comparing with a replacement injector, they appear to be identical-ish. Looks good. Connectors look good. Okay. New injector, go to your home, please. There we go. The rest of them are seated. Let's bolt it back down. Easy peasy. There's a mosquito biting me in the ankle. And when I get a visual identification on him, he will die. 
it is seriously becoming a very nasty annoyance. See, we, we get these little juvenile Florida mosquitoes and they don't land on you and bite you. They just kind of fly around and just run into you. So they'll hit you like six or seven times before you even knew they were there. And then comes the inflammation. They're quite terrible. Horrendous little creatures. Let's see, this goes this way. I'm bass backwards here. It's never good. That's where you go. Let's start the fasteners. I won't torque them, I'm just gonna thread them all so they're in line. Then I will torque them. Okay, that's all of them. Nope, missing one, one more. I see you down there. Click. Where's that other one? There it is. one clickage oh I'm silly I forgot to plug that in good thing I can reach it from here otherwise I'd be doing my job twice all right injector click We're good. Okay, let's put our broken intake box back in it's only kind of broken it'll still work but they broke the mount very unfortunate there Okay, let's go ahead and plug this in right now. Hose click, hose clamp click. More bigger hose. Let's get that guy in next. Now what we are gonna do here is make sure all this is tight this time. Someone skipped that step once. Hurry, 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 hurry. That guy goes there. All right. In the home stretch, I think. Let's see. We'll bring this guy up and around. This one goes here. That one goes there, and that tab's broken off. That one goes there. Map sensor. I think that's map. Map or barometric pressure. Map stands for manifold absolute pressure. And we've got a hose. Where does that hose go? That goes in right here. Very good, we're getting somewhere, folks. We're getting somewhere. And we're getting there very quickly. That one, that one, nice, nice. All right, quick walk through. Everybody's connected, bolted on again. That's on, that's on, that's on, that's on. Everybody's on. Let's go ahead and power this thing up and watch it not misfire anymore. All right, Jeepish thing, turn back on. Starting engine now. Let's get back into our code menu, clear those out. Restart it again. Clearing codes now, light's gonna go away. Goodbye light, erasing, erasing. Oh no, it's not successful, I had the engine running. Try again. Failed to follow directions. Clear codes, yes, yes, yes. Code clear, success, restarting engine. Oh yeah, no check engine light. Very good. All right, let's go with the road. Make sure we don't have any other misfires. But before I go anywhere, our decorative engine cover is going back. Very good. 
Oh, by the way, I've never managed to achieve victory against that mosquito. And my ankles are on fire. More air conditioning. There we go. Climate control. All right, moving on. Engine feels very good. There's no stuttering, no shutter, no hesitation, no misfire so far. All right, everybody, this one's good to go. The engine and fuel system are operating as designed. There are no longer any misfires. We are in very good shape here, no check engine light. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna let you know that I enjoyed making this video for you to watch. If you did enjoy this video, you know the drill. Scroll down ever so slightly and uh, happy tap that like button down below. Hey, look, the auto start stop feature is functioning again. That was a mouthful. The auto start feature is functioning. I can't even say it twice. Anyway, <laughs> uh, again, thank you guys for watching. And uh, before I go, I want to remind everybody here to not forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later. Beep, beep. Beep. Power down. Yeah. Right. Dunzo. Goodbye, Jeep. Goodbye, viewers.